New Tesla Model 3 is mind-numbingly boring. The updated Tesla Model 3 brought several improvements over the outgoing model, such as a quieter interior, a smoother ride, and a redesigned exterior. This prompted Doug DeMuro, who made a name for himself after publishing down-to-earth car reviews on his YouTube channel for over a decade. To review the so-called Highland EV with over 1,000 YouTube videos and almost 5 million subscribers under his belt. The man known for his quirks and features segments analyzes almost every single thing good or bad about the American design sedan. But it's his conclusion that stood out for us. Tesla's cheapest car reviewed by car-loving YouTuber. The facelifted Tesla Model 3, also known as the Highland, went through the hands of Doug DeMuro, a down-to-earth guy and YouTuber extraordinaire. The man has published over 1,000 videos on his YouTube channel over the last decade or so and has almost 5 million subscribers. He's also a huge car nerd, which is why his video of the Model 3 caught our attention. In his words, the EV is the greatest appliance ever made, but that's not really a bad thing. After detailing what every button does, how there's no traditional instrument cluster or steering wheel stocks. How responsive the center screen is, and so on. Doug comes to the conclusion that the new Tesla Model 3 is the best appliance ever made, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. More car videos watch MKBHD check out the Rivian R2, R3, and R3X. With CEO RJ scaring 2024 Kia EV9 ownership review. Deep dive into the base and top variants watch a Ford F-150 Lightning charge perfectly at a Tesla Supercharger 2 Ford F-150 Lightning's race 1,000 miles. Tesla Supercharger vs. Electrify America Tesla's most affordable car on sale is mind-numbingly boring to look at, to drive. But that's okay, even from a car enthusiast's perspective because it is very, 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 very good at doing what it is supposed to do, which is just point A to point B without complaint, making life easier, Demuro said toward the end of his video. As for the Highland name, Doug mentioned that Tesla representatives said in an email that they had no idea where the name came from and that it is not used in any promotional material or even internal documents. However, the moniker appeared several times on all sorts of parts labels and there were references to it in the file names used in the official parts catalog. It was always an internal code name and not necessarily something meant to be used for marketing purposes. In any case, go ahead and watch the video. Source reposted and summarized from Julian Nistrin at Inside EVS.